532, kid is 9100. Let's bring this one back. Tall, confident, thankful. Almost your bold today, express it today, right? Without a follow, without a mention. Reach down with that two more resistance. Three, two, one, reach down and two. Let's not waste time. One of the most valuable things in life. 10 seconds, 100, 110 cadence. What's going on? Thank you so much for tuning in today. It's going to be a good video. So we've had the Peloton for a few years now, and it was mainly for Morgan because she really likes cycling and spinning, and she's actually a spin instructor. She used to teach a lot of classes a few years ago. Um, but I've actually started using it recently, and I've been doing like between two and four rides per week usually only 15 to 20 minutes each. But the reason for that is because I'm really trying to improve my cardiovascular health and really get my endurance up. And my passion has always been around strength training and I never really liked cardio. So this is actually a little bit of a challenge and a struggle for me. And I really like being outside. So over you know the warmer weather, I would go outside and we would go for hikes and walks and stuff like that. And that was a lot easier for me. But now, since it's so cold, I've been trying to get on the bike like a few times a week. But the reason I'm motivated to do this and improve my endurance is because since we got Nigel over the summer, you know, he's an active dog, right? He needs to be getting exercise every single day. He needs to be going on walks and hikes and stuff like that. And he's at the point now where he's like way faster than me and his endurance is way better than mine. And I don't want to be holding him back when like we're on a walk or a hike or, or playing outside. And this is actually kind of ridiculous, but I'm in the Peloton Rider uh, Facebook group. And there's like 100,000 people in that group or whatever. And I'm not even exaggerating when I say that every single day, there's at least a few people who post in the group and they complain that they're doing so many rides. They're doing like one to two rides every single day like between seven and 14 rides a week, and they haven't lost one pound over the course of several months. Like, how could that be, right? They're doing hours and hours of cardio every single week, and they haven't been able to lose any weight at all. And that is exactly what I'm gonna talk about here in this video, a crucial mistake that so many people make when trying to lose body fat. Now, I know a lot of you guys are making this mistake. Because I talk to guys every single week about their fitness goals, friends I have on social media, connections, people who are reaching out to apply for my Modern Man program. So I see. And after somebody tells me what their goals are and what they're looking to achieve, I always ask them, have you tried anything already? Is there anything that you've already done in the past? Just so that I can get more background info as to what they've already tried. And the most common things that people say are the following. I'm trying to lower my sodium intake. I've tried cutting out carbs and sugars. I'm doing cardio five to six times a week. I've been getting back to the gym three to four times a week. And this is what I'm talking about, man. This is the most crucial mistake that people make when trying to lose body fat is that they focus on relatively insignificant things for their primary goal of actually reducing their body fat. And this is such a crucial mistake because it could be years before you realize to put your time and focus and energy towards something different that's gonna actually give you the momentum and the progress that you're looking for. Now, these things that I mentioned, sodium, carbs, cardio, the gym, now, you know, they're not bad or they're not wrong by any means. But the fact is, they're just not the most important things if your goal is to lose body fat and get leaner. There's more, 
important things that you should prioritize first and have in, in line first. Here's what I mean, man. Worrying about sodium when your primary goal is to lose body fat is like desperately trying to tie your shoelaces when a lion has you pinned down by the throat and is trying to eat you. Because if you're in that situation and a lion's on top of you, the last thing you're gonna think about is your shoelaces or your shoes or anything. You're gonna be thinking about getting the lion off of you and just staying alive. And obviously that's a totally exaggerated example, but I hope you get what I mean. But I just took a drive over to the post office, dropped off some shirts and shipped them out to my Modern Man clients. And now I'm back home, let's get inside and I'm gonna go over the main two or three things that you should be focusing on if you have goals of losing body fat, getting leaner, what you should focus on and cut everything else out. All right, so I'm back home. I don't know if you can tell, but Morgan gave me a little bit of a haircut uh, it was starting to get a little bit long. But the main point of this video is to focus on the two or three things that are gonna get you to your primary goal of losing body fat and not getting distracted with all these other smaller things. Because here's the truth and possibly the most important part of this video. If you are trying to lose weight and you are not successfully doing that, one of two things is happening, or maybe both of these things. One is you're eating too many calories over the course of a week. So you should be eating in a calorie deficit to lose weight, and you're not doing that, right? Maybe you're eating in a calorie deficit Monday through Thursday, but Friday and Saturday you overeat, and you kind of ruin that calorie deficit for the course of the week. You need to consistently be in a calorie deficit throughout the course of the week to lose weight. And this happens all the time. It's super, super common where people think they're eating perfect, or they think they're eating the right amount of calories, but there's one or two days in the week where they're not tracking right or they're under tracking or they're ruining their calorie deficit. Or number two is you're not moving around enough through exercise or walking or everyday activities to be able to be in that calorie deficit. Or it could be a combination of the two, but usually it's the first option. And this is exactly how people can be doing 10 Peloton rides in a week and still not losing one pound week after week, month after month. The fact is they are not in a calorie deficit, right? Something is off with their nutrition and they are just not in a calorie deficit. You can do cardio twice a day. You can do a hundred sit-ups every single day and still not lose any body fat if your nutrition is off. And if this is you where you are putting in a lot of exercise, a lot of effort, but you're struggling to gain the traction you want and you're struggling to lose weight, the sooner you realize this and accept it and stop fighting it or denying it, the sooner you're going to be able to get to your goals and actually focus on the things that matter that will actually help change things for you. So if you're someone who's already tracking your calories, what I need you to do is just go back to basics. Make sure you weigh everything you eat out on a food scale so that you know exactly what the portion size is that you're eating. If you're not doing this for butter, for oil, for sauces, for cereal, for peanut butter, for nuts, for your meats, for your vegetables, for your rice. If you're not doing this for all your foods, you're not tracking accurately and that's probably why you're not losing weight. So go back to these basics and diligently track everything that you're eating on a food scale for at least seven days for a week and see if the calories are still the same as you've been tracking them. If you're someone who's been trying to lose weight but you haven't yet tried tracking your calories, that's literally your answer. You have to start tracking your calories. If maybe you've been trying to lose weight for months or years at this point without gaining any traction or without seeing the results you want, when are you gonna be willing to just open up MyFitnessPal, it's a free app, and start tracking your calories so that you can know exactly how much you're eating and it's gonna help you see the results you want and it's gonna help you eat more flexibly for the rest of your life and live a better quality of life. And let me just be clear that you don't have to track your calories for the rest of your life, but in a phase where you're going really hard towards your fitness goals and they're a real priority for you, I definitely recommend doing that. But I have many clients who don't track their calories and have seen great results. Dustin lost over 50 pounds working out at home without tracking his calories. Andrew, also working out at home, lost 30 pounds in 12 weeks without tracking his calories. Johnny, 
hasn't even started tracking his calories yet. He's lost, I believe, 15 pounds. Joe, same thing, hasn't even went to a gym, uh, has been doing some walking, been doing some low impact work. He lost over 10 pounds without tracking his calories. But those four guys were properly guided by myself, a coach who had a very simple and strategic game plan in place that I knew they were gonna be in a calorie deficit for and I knew they were gonna be able to sustain it. So these are the two most important things if you're trying to lose body fat and why I say don't worry about the gym, don't worry about carbs, don't worry about cardio, don't worry about sodium. The two things you should worry about and have 100% in line before you think about anything else is one, you need some sort of clear and concise nutrition plan, right? That's gonna have you eating in a calorie deficit. Maybe that's tracking calories, maybe that's some other strategy like intermittent fasting, uh, but it, it needs to be able to create predictable results for you. If you don't have a clear plan with your nutrition each day, don't worry about anything else, right? Number two is some sort of exercise routine, exercise program whether you're strength training three times a week or four or five times a week, some routine in place is gonna help you to improve your metabolism, is gonna help you to burn some calories, gonna help you to get stronger. Now, that being said, if you're someone who is seeing progress, you know you're moving in the right direction with your fat loss and you're getting leaner, then of course it's okay to look at these other things in finer detail, like trying to eat lower sodium meals or maybe choosing healthier carb options over like refined carbs or you know, picking a few days to do some cardio and ride your bike on top of your current program. I'm doing this right now. I'm adding in three or four bike rides per week, but I've had eight years of setting the foundations and proper strength training and proper nutrition before I really started adding that in. I'm also looking at my fiber intake much more than I was previously, right? I've been mainly focused on hitting my macros every single day for the last five years, and now, I'm taking it a step further. I'm looking at how to get in healthier carb options that have more fiber, less sugary options, and that's something that I'm now fine tuning. And what you'll notice throughout your fitness journey is once you get down to 12 or 15% body fat, you'll have new obstacles that come your way that are gonna have to be overcome in order to get down to 10% body fat. But if you're not there yet, and that's not where you're at, focus on just what's in front of you and taking one step forward at a time. But that's it for this video, man. I'm gonna wrap it up here. We're gonna take Nigel out for a walk before it gets dark. And I hope this helped you to know exactly what to focus on, what one or two things to prioritize that are really gonna make a difference for you in your results. And you don't have to worry about all the other distractions that may be around you. And if you got help from this video, go ahead, click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Maybe it's, maybe over here. Subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to get notified when I make more videos just like this every single week, and I will see you on the next video.